Greetings, Laddingtons. I'm checking in from the Mountains of Wisdom. And I thought to make this video because I have just released a pre-workout product for Jotunheim Nutrition. And even though I only sell it to Sweden, I want to be perfectly open and honest with my businesses for all of my supporters. And I also thought to take this opportunity to talk a bit about pre-workouts in general and also energy drinks. Talking about sips. So basically my overall stance upon pre-workouts and energy drinks is that you can take them once or twice a month, something like that, for special occasions or because of convenience. So it's not something I recommend that you take on um, a daily basis because it's not financially good. It costs quite a bit of money if you're gonna buy energy drinks every single day. And if we're talking about the stress certain energy drinks takes on the body, it's not particularly healthy as well. If you do it every once in a while, it's not a big deal, but doing it every day, not a good idea. And this applies as well to most pre-workouts. And now, I understand it might not be the best business idea to say that you should take my products less often, but at the end of the day, I want you to have a good view of me and my services and products in 10 years time, not uh, necessarily tomorrow. So I'm having a low time preference business model, so to speak. So uh, that is my take on my own supplement, that you should take it once or twice a month. Don't take it every day because your progression and performance in the gym should be a result of sleep primarily and a good nutrition. Uh, and also a um, just a note there, don't take pre-workout supplements too late in the day, then it might mess up your sleep and if you get a worse sleep, you get worse results in the gym. So um, yeah, take it earlier in the day and take it on certain occasions, perhaps you're having a good pre-workout session with your laddingtons, with your true friends, with your bulkingtons and you uh, watch some epic thing on uh, on the TV or whatever, listen to some heavy metal get uh, pumped up before the gym, take a pre-workout, hit the gym together, have an epic session. But uh, don't do it on a daily basis because if you get used to taking a really high power supplement before every session and then one day you don't have access to it, it's not a good thing. So try to keep it to once or twice a month. My particular supplement is you're supposed to feel like a werewolf. You transform into a werewolf when you take it, go in and do some deadlifts during a full moon session and have a good old time. So that is my take on uh, that. Then also when it comes to energy drinks, especially with sugar, it can be a bit bad for your teeth if you drink a lot of them because these things, if they contain sugar and they contain citric acid, can be a bit um, rough on your teeth. So that's something to keep in mind if you drink it on a regular basis. So again, Try to keep things like Monster, Red Bull to once or twice a month for convenience or for a special occasion. So it's sort of similar to my view on pastries. I don't recommend that you eat pastries every day, but you can eat them every once in a while during certain occasions. So it's all about moderation. I'm not saying that you need to cut out energy drinks from your life, but I'm saying that you should have it in moderation. And then if you're into coffee, which is perfectly fine, there is actually some health benefits to coffee. Uh, I suggest that you may let the coffee stand for your invigorating effect every day. And then again, every once in a while you can have a pre-workout or a um, energy drink. So anyway, to conclude, if you are short on money, I would not recommend that you spend it on a pre-workout because it's not something that you need. It's more something that is nice to have every once in a while. You can spend it on whey instead. And of course, if you're in Sweden, only place to get your supplements is jotunheimnutrition.com. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the view as well when I've been talking. And thank you for watching. XXO, boo.